Sarah Star here um, with another free plugin I'm going to recommend you use. Um, and today, this plugin is actually enables you to edit pages much more easily. Um, now, in the past, you know, I've always found it difficult um, kind of creating good layouts uh, on my pages within WordPress. So, what I mean by this is creating um, uh, kind of, you know, different size text, creating paragraphs easily. Um, and so forth because WordPress doesn't really come with things like you can't select font sizes easily, you can't change the font easily within a post, um, etc. etc. So, there is actually a new plugin uh, which I've recently discovered called Tiny MCE, um, and this has just completely changed the way I use WordPress and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, before I actually show you how to install it, I just actually want to show you exactly what it does. Um, so, I'm going to create a new post, so I'm going to say Add New. I actually use this plugin now on uh, most of my websites, um, and it's uh, so you know really kind of changed the way I can kind of create things. So I've just gone to visual here, and you can see I've got lots and lots of extra buttons that you don't normally have um, when creating a post. So as an example, I could create a nice headline here. So I've created my name. Um, now normally um, within WordPress, you would have to select paragraph or headline one headline two you actually might not you might want to make something a larger font size but you might not want it to be a headline so now you can actually just say okay I want that to be font size 14 um, or I want that to be font size let's say 18 and actually um, you know I want it to actually be um, in uh, let's just say this kind of comic um, font okay so I've actually now created, um, and I can, and I've, I can actually now create another headline if I wanted, which would be maybe a different font size. There we go, and I could create it using a different font. And you can see here, much more easy to edit. I can select my font size um, and my different font. Um, we've got different styles here, and um, but there's other things you can do um, with this plugin as well. It makes it actually in. in installing um, YouTube videos much easier. So if you want to put a YouTube video within our post, rather than having to go to the HTML section and then cut and paste our code and all of that, we can just click on where we want the video to appear, click on the YouTube um, like little button there, um, and then um, all, we, all we need to do is to stick in the um, uh, link here which you get from your YouTube page. Um, very, very easy. Um, and you can select the width and height and etc. So very very easy to install uh, YouTube videos on a page. There's also a little button here for creating, um, for putting in um, uh, photographs etc. Uh, so images here. And um, we've also got other short codes as well. So um, we've got short codes here from Contact Form 7, which is a, a plugin which I already have installed on my site. And there's all sorts of other plugins. Um, uh, uh, we, uh, short codes which you can use from different plugins which you have installed on your site. So it's just a really simple plugin. It's it's not you know massively you know kind of complex this plugin, but what it does, it does enable me to lay out posts in a much much better um, format. You can even do things like highlighting. So we can say we just want to highlight uh, that word and then to click apply. And now we've got star there highlighted, a bit like you do see on a sales page where they have certain words highlighted. Um, traditionally, to do this with WordPress, you'd have had to do it um, purely in HTML. Um, and you, you can actually install a lot more buttons in this. This is just what I actually have installed. So let me um, just quickly show you how you actually install this plugin and how you get it. All you need to do is go to Plugins and then go to Add New. Okay and then click on in the search box you want to type in ultimate tiny mce i'll i'll put this um uh, name of this plugin below the video and then click search and then just click on install now i've already got this installed it would have normally have an install now uh, link there um, but i already have it installed actually it's telling me there's an update for this which is pretty cool um, so you click on there and you can install it and then once you've installed it you have to kind of like activate it and set it up so what you need to do is you need to go to um, settings and then find um, tiny mce sorry i've just clicked on the wrong button there um, but you need to go to settings um, and tiny mce so let me just find that uh, ultimate tiny mce there 
OK. So this brings up this page and then within this page you can select um, which uh, which items appear on your toolbar. So for instance I've got the font family selected, I've also got the size selected. If you want to you can have a cut and paste button um, within your toolbar. I didn't see the need for that because I'm quite happy using Control C and Control V. Um, background color picker, okay foreground color picker you can have that as well you can create a horizontal um, uh, like a like a kind of ruler box a ruler um, there's all sorts of things you can create uh, an anchor box um, a lot of things here which I would never use search um, you can insert date and time box there so you could actually have the date and time um, like today's date appear at the top of your post which would automatically update itself so if someone viewed your post in three days time it would still have the current date on it um, and then there's there's all sorts of other things here which I haven't um, included a smiley face for instance um, we've got the YouTube video uh, image map editor um, you can even have a, a print button um, uh, I don't know why you'd have that, but there's a there's a icon there for a print button, uh, and then we've also got the short codes which I showed you earlier. So that's Tiny MCE. Um, really kind of changed the way I use WordPress. It's actually made using WordPress much much easier. Um, I'm, I, it's I, I find actually editing posts easier. I can create bold text much more easily, larger font sizes, change the font, highlight, and everything. Definitely recommend it. It's a free plugin, so definitely go and check it out.